How you doing today, my friends? Uh, Mr. Green here, and uh, we're gonna start on a, a new project um, on the John Deere 2210. Um, I am setting up a uh, so that from inside now that I have the cab on there, I can't just reach back here anymore and turn the chute, which was already kind of not the most convenient thing, anyways, right? So. Um, what I did was I went to the scrap yard. If you watch my previous videos, you'll uh, I've already shown this, but uh, so I picked up this uh, window motor from the scrap yard. Uh, cost me I think 15 bucks, and uh, you can get the two wire ones. That's just pow uh, you just reverse polarity, and uh, but a lot of them don't have. They have uh, what it's a gear here instead of a nut. So, and you want the shaft so that you can uh, weld this to that. So, um, so this one's out of uh, 02 Malibu, Chevy Malibu. So, <clears throat> so yeah, what we got to do is, and all you're using is, uh, I think it's the purple wire, and uh, actually you can just ground it right to the frame uh, when you bolt it on. And this one, unfortunately, I broke a bolt already, so I'll have to get that out first. And then... Uh, and then you just reverse polarity on this, so you would uh, put power to this uh, negative positive or positive negative will make it go uh, both directions. So um, I do have a switch coming, still waiting for it, uh, a reverse polarity switch that uh, is designed for winches and this type of application. So, but uh, I'm going to get this all installed here on the tractor and all set up. And then it will be ready as soon as the switch comes in to uh, just wire the switch in, and uh, and away we go. So um, now on the back of the tractor, wherever I go in, probably down here in the corner or something, um, I'm going to make it so that it's easily un uh, unplugged. So I got to figure out some kind of socket idea for there that uh, I can just plug it in and uh, away I go. So um, yeah. So first thing is is I've got to get the grinder out. Uh, we're going to figure out a mount for this and then uh, uh, we can start uh, grinding and, and getting everything set up. So we'll be back here in a minute. Okay, so I uh, just found this old scrap piece of, uh, I don't even know what it is, maybe eighth inch steel. Um, and I'm going to, or what I did was uh, I drilled a one inch hole for the center and that will allow this to go through. And then I just uh, drilled my two mounting holes. And uh, so it's not, uh, that wasn't very difficult and it just happens this piece was sitting there. So now the next thing I got to do is cut the shaft down right here. And then uh, I got to find out the height for, uh, for this to be welded on and braced. And then, uh, then it can all be painted and or welded on and then painted so um, pretty simple job here and the wiring is pretty simple too so um, but it will save you from having to reach back and there's lots of people that don't have outputs like the back of this tractor doesn't have hydraulic outputs so uh, being able to use uh, the electrical to uh, to do it uh, is much better and these uh, little motors surprisingly are very strong uh, you gotta remember they lift a big chunk of glass um, and you know, they will get to a point where they won't, uh, won't turn something, you know, if this chute gets all frozen up or something, it will stop it, but it would stop, you know, maybe not hydraulics, but it'll stop most things. So, uh, this will do just fine for me. I'm just, I'm sure of it. I've done this a few times actually already. So, um, all right, well, I'm going to, uh, get this handle cut down and then, uh, and then we can look at placement for this thing. Okay guys, well, we're going to get this all set up now. I've got everything prepped and uh, ready to go. Um, let's get the ground clamp on here. Okay. And then we have our uh, couple of parts here. And we can get uh, we can get this all welded together here. So these are all the components I need. We'll throw this welder on here, and uh, we'll kind of get everything lined up where we want it first, 
and then uh, away we go. I'm going to remember how I have this all set up now. We can kind of get this tacked in here. Okay, so that's tacked now. Now we can get motor tacked on there. Okay, we'll get a good shot of a little paint here and uh, paint it up. Okay, well I'll let that set up. Oh, let that set up for a while and dry, and uh, we'll be back here in a little while, and we'll uh, we'll give this thing a test to make sure it works. Okay, guys, I've let the paint dry here for a little bit, and uh, now we're gonna hook up just uh, temporary to a battery, and uh, we can see if it's gonna turn it or not. Um, I know the motor works. I did test it before. So we'll just have to see now if it's strong enough to turn uh, this chute or not. Because uh, I'm hoping it is. Alright, so we'll just put... Uh, and all this does is you just switch the polarity on one of the wires and then to a ground. And then... Uh, so that's what I'm getting is a switch that is a reverse polarity switch. So it sends ground to one side and positive to another. And then if you push it the other way, it does the opposite. So... All right, well, we'll give it a test here. Let's see what happens. Hey! Wow, it turns fast, too. My other ones didn't turn that fast. There, and then I'll switch the polarity. There we go. That's pretty awesome. I'm happy with that. Bring it back. There we go. It works. That's pretty simple. Uh, you can pick one of those up at the scrap yard for ten to twenty dollars. Um, and the switch I bought on Amazon, I think, was like four dollars. It's pretty cheap to buy the switch, so um, it's just a matter of waiting for it to come in. And as soon as it's in, I am going to uh, get everything wired into the cab and. Uh, We'll probably do one final video, and I'll go over all the pricing and how much everything costs for the cab, and uh, I'll show you this all hooked up. But uh, that's how simple it is to get your chute turn, uh, or get your chute to turn on your blower if you do not have the option of hydraulics. You can use this on a garden tractor setup. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can set this up. But uh, there you go, guys. That was uh, just a short little video there. Uh, not too, too long, but... Uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll do an update video here soon on uh, on the tractor cab. Uh, it is pretty much done. I've got one more motor to 
add in the back for the back windshield wiper. Um, I got one little leak I gotta fix, uh, and then get this wired up, and then it can snow. So um, right now, today it's 12 degrees Celsius, which is extremely strange for this type of the year. Usually we've got snow by now, but uh, no complaints because I'm able to come out here and work on this stuff. So, but. Uh, all right, everybody. Uh, thanks to all the new subscribers. You guys are really making my channel grow fast, and I appreciate it very much, very much. I, uh, I make these videos for you guys, and uh, I hope you enjoy them. And uh, like I said in the last video, uh, don't be afraid to, uh, to leave a comment down in the, in the comment section for projects you wanted to see me do. Like I said yesterday, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side build uh, come springtime. Uh, may start it over the winter too, not sure yet, but uh, I'm going to make a two-seater side-by-side, so um, right on guys, well uh, please remember to subscribe, and as always, if you click that thumbs up button, it would be greatly appreciated. Have a great day.